What's going on guys? Welcome back to Learn Crypto. My name is Nick Hellman, aka the Crypto Hitman. And of course, there's been some big news and volatility in the market today because there has been some allegations against Binance. The SEC is finding them $4 billion. CZ says he, he potentially is stepping down. Well, now we can get through the FUD and the rumors and the drama and hear it from, you know, the horse's mouth. We got Binance making their official Binance blog post. All of these URLs are verified and provably true. Binance announcement reaching resolution with U.S. regulators. Overall, this is great for the market, although I still see it as more of a bribe um, blackmail from the SEC. I don't think they really have on any grounds. They're getting a $4 billion payment from Binance and immediately they are now going after Kraken. So we'll have to keep an eye on that, but that is for another video. Today, we are pleased to inform you that we have reached resolutions with the U.S. Department of Justice, Commodity Futures Trading Commission, the Office of Foreign Assets Control, and the Financial Crimes Enforcement Network related to their investigations into historical registration, compliance, and sanction issues. These resolutions acknowledge our company's responsibility for historical criminal compliance violations and allow our company to turn the page on a challenging yet transformative chapter of learning and growth. With the compliance and governance enhancements enshrined in our commitments we will begin to share our vision for binance's exciting future in the future of the crypto industry we are confident that the binance will emerge as a stronger company and what will, will lay the foundation for the next 50 years so right off the bat this is not an ftx situation and no i don't think cz will be going to jail and we'll go on why it's not ftx moving forward but the fact that they have agreed there's a price settlement there has not been a run on Binance. Even if there was a run, you'll see from later in this letter, they are saying they're one to one back. Here we go. Most importantly, we have never faltered in upholding our core values of user security and safety. We take res our responsibility as a custodian very seriously and maintain a one to one backing for every user asset. This means that users can withdraw 100% of their assets from the platform at any time. Of note, in our resolutions with the U.S. agencies, they, quote, said, do not allege that Binance misappropriated any user funds and do not allege that Binance engaged in any man market manipulation. We do know FTX, uh, they allege both of those and proved both of those in the court of law. Leadership change, the most important part. Now, I kind of precursor th to this. Uh, let me see if I can find on my Twitter. I'll drag it over. Here we go. Here is my reply to CZ. He posted this. Investors and founders don't always align. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Knowing when to let go control of a company you founded is one of the trickiest decisions. This was in reply to Sam Altman having to do with the AI product that he was part of. Now, I said here, hope this doesn't precursor to you step stepping away from Binance with the laughing face. He didn't tart it. He didn't comment it or nothing. So, you know, that was kind of one hint that I was maybe right because CZ does follow me and he does, you know, not saying replies to everything or nothing. Not everything I say is profound, but he'll like, uh, you know, jokes or something like this if I normally post it. He did not do that in this case. Uh, now, today we do know that, uh, well, that kind of joke I had, that precursor I had is becoming reality. Looks like my thought is unfortunately becoming a potential reality uh, because up until Binance actually posted this themselves, it is all hearsay. Um, but uh, let's see what Binance has to say on that matter. Effective immediately, Richard Tang, Binance is now former global head of regional markets, will succeed CZ as CEO. Richard is highly qualified leader and with over three decades of financial services and regulatory experience, he will navigate the company through its next period of growth. Prior to joining Binance, Richard was the CEO of the Financial Services Regulatory Authority at Abu Dhabi Global Market, the Chief Regulator Office of the Singapore Exchange, SGX, and the Director of Corporate Finance in the Monetary Authority of Singapore. So will Richard Tang be the CZ? Now he doesn't fill the void of CZ. CZ has been with us for a long time. CZ has gone through the ups, the downs. He, he's made jokes. He's made investments. He's kind of been the face of Binance and the face of a large portion of the crypto growth and liquidity. Richard Tang is more of an unknown from that side, the degen side in us, the crypto Twitter side of us. But Richard Tang seems to have all of uh, 
the traditional side covered in, in what he's done in his experience and he's been with Binance along the way so he's not fresh blood coming into this ecosystem. So we'll see if he's as uh, open and forward facing, forward thinking as CZ was in the past. Um, but that, at this point, doesn't matter all that much. Binance is still one of the largest liquidity pools, one of the largest liquidity providers in the crypto market. Binance is still the most sought after uh, crypto listing. Um, and I think what's most interesting about this is whether Binance US now can get back to fully functioning in the US. And will Binance International or Binance Global ever make its way back to the US? I know people like me, you know, 2017, 2018, I utilized a, a large portion of my liquidity over on Binance. I love the platform. I love the listings. I love the trading. I love the uh, Binance Earn and Passive Income opportunities. Those were kind of taken away from me by the U.S. government. Binance U.S. filled the gap a little bit, but not much. Liquidity has always been kind of lacking. They can't offer the earned products. And with that in case, I'd rather just use Coinbase. So we'll see if Binance Global ever comes back or if Binance US with this settlement, with this payout and with this regulatory oversight can start offering uh, better liquidity pools and better offerings to its users. And maybe Binance US will uh, ultimately get the Learn Crypto community to get over there uh, and utilizing it more often. This just talks about their law, law enforcement cooperation, their commitment to transparency, the future of cryptocurrency. We strongly believe that the crypto industry and Binance have a bright future. I do agree. This is happening at a decent time. You pay it off. You got the Bitcoin bull market coming. The Binance exchange is still tier one. Still going to garnish a ton of trading fees, a ton of trading activities, get a ton of investment opportunities into startups that they can do very well on. Also, the BNB coin itself still functioned as the utility token of the Binance Exchange and the fee token of the BSC network. And now the op BNB network. So obviously BNB itself is going to do very well and Binance does own many of those tokens. We have built a community and an ecosystem that empowers individuals to harness the power of blockchain technology to unlock opportunities for their families, communities and economies around the world. And we are committed to ensuring that the transformative power of these technologies is experienced by more people worldwide. Note, assets held in earn accounts are sometimes backed by collateral and a different token than what is invested, although this should not impact Binance's ability to honor one-to-one -one redemptions. So a little bit of uh, a clause there. You know, if you're in Floki Earn, you know, that Floki that's being earned or whatever asset is being earned might be not be backed one-to-one -one with the Floki, for example. Um, but they do have enough other assets on the on the books that if everybody wanted to withdraw at once and early on stake from the, these earned products that they could cover that. So that is a little bit of a risk parameter, uh, but not all that much because in theory, realistically, that's not the case. People are in the earned products for the long term and usually are not exiting those or really not taking on those expenses and fees for doing so. Overall, it looks like CZ is on the way out as, as CEO. Will he remain in some capacity at Binance? I sure hope so. It's great for the Binance ecosystem. It's great for the crypto ecosystem as a whole. Did Binance already replace him with somebody? Yes. Did Binance actually do anything that's criminal? I mean, from this, not very much, guys. We're talking not much. I mean, in comparison, people are comparing this to FTX. It's a joke. FTX went under, lost billions of dollars of users' funds, literally had accounts that couldn't get liquidated, literally had accounts that they had unlimited supply. People were trying to buy Bitcoin. They were crediting people's accounts with digital Bitcoin, but not actually market buying those off the open market. So sheer market manipulation, the prices would have been much higher uh, across altcoins and Bitcoin if those purchases would have actually gone through. And I think this is a mere blip for Binance. I don't see a reason to withdraw from Binance. I'll continue uh, to support Binance as a U.S. resident. Unfortunately, I can't use Binance.com, which kind of blows Binance U.S. until they get uh, liquidity shored up and can start having competing offers to that at Coinbase. I just can't utilize Binance U.S. at this time either. Uh, but overall, BNB, BSC ecosystem, Binance as a whole. I think this is a mere blip. This is nothing. Again, I side with Binance here. SEC charging $4 billion seems like a blackmail to me. And why it's a blackmail, within six hours of Binance agreeing to pay this $4 billion plus, they're already going after Kraken, another U.S. regulated exchange. This seems like they are trying to uh, really dampen down the success of crypto native companies and uh, make way for BlackRock and these traditional firms that are trying to make their way into Bitcoin. BlackRock, Fidelity, Charles Schwab, etc. And they're really putting as much pressure as they can on Binance 
Finance, Coinbase, Kraken, and Grayscale. And those are really the crypto native companies that we should continue to support. They've been here from the beginning. They've been here through the ups and downs with us. And they really have crypto and the core usage of crypto uh, ingrained in their mantra and in their company policies. Not just here to push a Bitcoin ETF on their clients in order to make some fees. That's my personal opinion. That's the update on Binance. And stay tuned for your daily updates on crypto and stock right here at Learn Crypto.